Hey everybody, Chris and Tony back for another Tiger Socks review for the Blue Collar Beer Gourmet. Hi. Howdy. Howdy. We are reviewing a uh, Chicago beer that my man in Indiana, uh, Chris, hooked us up with, Mr. Gone V6. If you want to check him out on um, Instagram, he is there and he does take great photos. He's actually got a nice little setup in his kitchen for taking good photos. Uh, but anyway, be that as it may, um, or rather that's, that's neither here nor there. Uh, the point being that he sent us a couple of Indiana beers and a couple of Chicago beers from Pipeworks. He's a generous guy. He is indeed. He, he is comes, indeed. He comes through with some good ones. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. And uh, so today we're going to be reviewing one of the uh, Chicago selections that he sent our way. Good luck trying to read it. <laughs> Lizard King. It's a Pipeworks can. Brewing. Oh, there it is. It's right up top. Brewed in oh. Chicago L. Yeah, I couldn't find I, it. I didn't see it either. I couldn't find it a second ago. Now it's like in clear writing. This is a pint can, and it does have a 6.0 ABV. Windy City Beer. Pipeworks. Went on up on um, Untapped, discovered that uh, 24 of my friends <clears throat> have given it a cumulative score of 4.04, and 44,000 have given it a cumulative score of 4.05. So when 44,000 people manage to get it, you know, get four, it over yeah. four, yeah, that, that, that speaks well of the that beer. That says a lot, yeah. I'm not really familiar with Pipeworks. I don't think I'm not either. Any... This is the first I've had anything from them. They got a groovy uh, bit of art on it, though. It is. It's uh, it's kind of busy, but you know, it's called Lizard King, so obviously kind of reminiscent of uh, Bowser. metal albums in the '80s. Yeah. yeah. Bowser uh, wants a beer. Bowser from Mario Brothers, yeah, or Super Mario. Super Mario. That's pretty. He, he, on the he took the princess and, and discovered it said chickpea one seventeen seventeen. Chickpeas. We're going to assume that that means that it was brewed on that date or packaged on that date. One of the two. Uh, making this about a ten year old beer or ten month old. <laughs> ten year old. Uh, <laughs> Whoa. But it is a super hopped uh, dry ale. Oh, I'm sorry, uh, pale ale. Yep. Mosaic hopped, hopped pale ale. Pale ale. So. Yep. So yeah, let's give Pipeworks their uh, what, um, their maiden voyage. What notes do we get off the uh, the first? I figured I'd pour it first, but um, you how, about you, the first? how about if you do that because yeah. I'm a little stuffy right now, so my nose <sighs> getting is, a lot of um, my nose is like, uh, that, I, you know, honestly, it smells more like Citra to me. I mean, obviously, <clears> they they know what they use, so I'm gonna right. <laughs> they, they use Mosaic, but honestly, it it has a little bit more of that grapefruity. Citra and even Chinook um, smells. I was so. able to pick up a little grapefruit, but I'm kind of stuffed up right now for some reason. So we're gonna pour. Chris is gonna enjoy his from a Flagstaff Brewing Company glass. Uh -huh. I'm going to enjoy mine from a Lumberyard Brewing Company glass, both from Flagstaff, both Arizona. From Flagstaff, Arizona. Yeah. yeah. So what do you say? He was standing on a corner and Flagstaff. Or so, flatbed truck well, drove by and Flagstaff's really close to Winslow. Actually, it's like 50 miles away. So if you need to go there and do an Eagles. Homage, I guess you could hit Flagstaff for the beer yeah. and then go to Winslow and do your Exactly. Yeah, <laughs> All right, ready for me to pour this bad boy? Yes, please. Six percent ABV, you probably already said that. But uh Chris, thanks, man. You guys Yeah, thanks. Your uh, selections not only are they interesting because they're so like it's just a neat mixture of styles of beer. You actually send some like just cool cans. Where, exactly. where I just don't have the heart to throw them yeah. throw them away. So I'm like, I might have to keep this just because it's really groovy looking. So so we got a pint here. Honestly, so. it kind of reminds me of um, the nice, uh, so. artwork that uh, Beavis and Butthead did on their, uh, <laughs> when they did that animation. Yeah. yeah. That episode. Thank you. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going to say this has Amination. medium. They called it Amini. I'd say medium high carbonation. Uh, this is a very yellow straw color. Yes. Uh, not. Yes. Uh, nice head on look. Check out that nice. Uh, that is a nice active, foamy fluffy head, head that, uh, that you got there. That's ain't cool. going nowhere. Rather yeah, persistent. Yeah. But, uh, nice idea. Plenty of carbonation. Slightly hazy, as you would expect something that was dry hopped to be. Hazy, yep. um, I can smell it better now that it's been poured. Yeah, a little little air, a little nucleation. It's almost got a mintiness to it. Um, I don't know. Not like full blown like mint, you know, assess, you know, like a peppermint stick or something. But mm -hmm. I'm getting almost like a, a faint mintiness to it. Of course, the hops are kind of win, you know, the sniffing contest here. I'm finally getting a little bit of the malt. Uh, like you would get two row from the pale ale. Hold it up a little closer for you, people. Mostly it's that citrusy, uh, that hop smell. It's got the textbook color, though. I mean, mm -hmm. for a, it's really, it does. it's really exactly the uh, a full you know color match for what you would expect from a pale. And this is a nice marshmallowy head. It's it's, it's very I'm resilient. Yeah. Even as I swirl, it's still not going. Anywhere. Swirl, but you will not succeed. Yeah. 
I'm eager. Yeah. Cheers. I had a slice of pizza a minute ago, so I'm kind of like too. ready yeah, for that. Too. Ready for that. Big surprise uh, the fat guy had too. Well, I'm gonna have more. <laughs> Okay, since a mouthfeel oh, yeah. is what I get first, uh, describe it as a medium mouthfeel, maybe even medium high, but at least medium. Uh, I'm tasting citrus, man. It almost feels yeah. like, almost feels like the juice box that's up there yeah, that, yeah. Tonight, it's that nice Chris sent to, to us before. Um, it's, it's very juicy. I'm, I'm, it, is. it almost feels like I, like somebody squeezed a, right. an orange or a grapefruit or a tangerine just right into the right. glass and exactly. said, here. Add that to your beer. Yeah, um, like it, like um, if you were to take a, like a, a juice, a glass of juice that you'd finish that was uh, something you you know juiced yourself, like a juice. Exactly, machine, the self juicing, and just kind of yeah. let the, the 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 leftover you know little bit and the whatever clings to the side of the glass, and then you add the beer, and then it mm -hmm. just really it, it makes it pop. It's like there's a lot of uh, tart fruitness going on in this. It's excellent. It's uh, orangey, citrusy, um, tangerine. Now I'm getting a little bit of the weediness. Um, a little That's bit of the malt, not not dry malt, but uh, I'm getting some malt flavor. Look at that head still. Tony's showing still you the head and on. the uh, the fact that this is for one of the, this is one of the few times actually as he was as he put that up to the camera I could see the color is actually coming through. So mm -hmm. often, like when I do reviews, I go, okay, that's not really you know, what you see there on the camera isn't the color that's that this this actually is. This is actually that color. I mean, it, yeah. it really is. This is uh, yeah exactly. It's 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 a it's got a, like a nice full juiciness to it. That's just a mm -hmm. good way to word it. Some pale ales are, are more like crisp and dry. This one's not so much that. It's it's, it's, it's Right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. It's just, it's more busy, but it's uh doing the right stuff. It's not busy for all the wrong reasons. Mm -hmm. It's effervescent and. Uh, I think if you're a pale ale fan, you and you're in the Illinois area, definitely try this beer. It's, and for a ten month old beer, I mean. Right. No, right it def definitely doesn't come across as. Like oh it's too old it's becoming skunky mm -hmm. no nothing like that but as far as a pale ale goes it's it's a it's a damn it's good tasty, example it's yeah yeah exactly I would definitely purchase this if I live you know again this isn't a beer we can find in Vegas exactly um, so but if you're in Middle America uh, yeah. check that out because now I'm curious what other beers Pipeworks how's out there you know actually so. we will be trying a Pipeworks um, uh, beer not next one the next uh, Tiger Socks next Tiger Socks. Will be a beer from 450 North Brewing, an actual uh, Hoosier beer. Yes. But the beer um, after that will be um, a double IPA uh, from uh, from Pipeworks. Pipeworks. So, uh, yeah. Cool. What would you score this? Um, I'm going to give this a 4.25. Yeah, it's it's worthy of something higher than four. I was gonna well, I was gonna give it a four, but with it being in a can, I gave it a 4.25. <laughs> so I'd probably go 4.25 anyway. Um, on on tap, it's it's mm -hmm. solid. It's all around solid. It's not, the aftertaste is perfect. It's not like, attack. it doesn't just ride on the back of your throat where you're just like, you can't get rid of it, can't get rid of it. It's refreshing. It's Almost light. no alcohol burn, really. Exactly. I mean, I'm getting like, right. maybe a slight one on the aftertaste. But. Yeah, it's it hits the spot. Chris, you, you picked a good one, man. You did indeed. Um, thank you much. Yeah, thank you. We're going to send you some beers. We, <laughs> I've, I've got one, in fact, going home with him today that's going to end up going to you, so. Uh, any other beer news that we need to talk about? T uh, Tanea Creek's um, uh, anniversary 18 party. year, 18 year anniversary party is November eight. Today's the fifth. When we're filming this is November fifth. Um, It'll go up tonight actually. It will go up yeah, tonight. So this is November fifth. Mm -hmm. Thirteen days from today it's is Tanea's 18 year. Um, and you're turning 18 on 18. You're turning 18 on 18 exactly. Um, I've already spoken to one of the uh, head brewers there. His name is Anthony. I saw him yesterday, actually, for a couple hours. He popped into the creek before I, because I basically popped in to give Ruth her present. Anyway, off subject, he uh, told me that there will be a total of 31 beers there. Wow. 28 of them are Tanea beers. So typically, like if you were to go to Tanea Creek right now and count the beers that they make on site, I think there's about 13 of them, 12. That sounds about right. For yeah. all, all the regulars, the offline. Right, exactly. And then the nitro. Right. I think there's only one on nitro There's right only now, one on nitro so. now. They're um, going to twist some of these around a little bit, add, you know, play with some of the pale ale, the pale, you know, the, the IPA, the stout, and come up with 28 total recipes. I don't have any, like, lists or anything like that, but he told me there will be 28 beers available there that day, and then three um, 
special special guest drafts, but he didn't tell me which ones they were. Two o'clock to closing, um, Tenaya Creek. They have they a, close at midnight on Saturday. I think so. Yeah. yeah, and they they do have their own dot com. So if you want to visit Vegas and have a cool event to check out on a Saturday, that would be. There's going to be live music. I've already heard three or four different bands are going to be there. Uh, three food trucks or two. Anyway, you get the gist of it. The Creek Geeks LV um, Facebook page, we'll be, we'll be keeping you uh, posted with as much information as we possibly can about that as well. And I will make a point uh, as time gets closer and closer. Uh, if you follow Creek Geeks LV on Twitter, uh, I'll be sure to put information there, giving you any, you know, any, any anytime they decide to release some information like what beers will be, it won't what be bands long. they'll yeah. be, what food trucks they'll have, yeah. and these will probably be very likely within the coming week. Oh, absolutely. Um, I mean, so they'll, they'll, they will announce all that, I'd say, within the next five or six days, if not sooner. Yeah. So I'll be checking out uh, that, that out, and um, so check our, our Twitter, our Twitter uh, <laughs> handle of at the Creek Geeks LV. Uh, Please. So. Yeah. And Chris, man, thanks. Appreciate so it. Much. Good. Excellent pale ale. Once again, Lizard King, Mosaic, Hopped Pale Ale. Pipe Let's works. For the land of Lincoln Root Breweries. Pipe works out of Chicago. Chicago. Um, Still up bears. Highly recommended if you're in that area. Pick up that this pale ale. It's very satisfying. Indeed. Until next time, drink good beer. Don't break the bank doing it. And cheers. Toodaloo. Toodles.